All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a 3D logo that spins. Uh, every video I found on YouTube when I was trying to figure out how to do this was either there was no one talking or the guy was going too fast and it just wasn't making sense. So I'm gonna do this really slow and it's gonna work for you, I promise. All right, so the first thing I, I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna make my canvas bigger because right now it's kind of small if, if this image uh, spins it's probably gonna go off the canvas so I'm gonna make this a little bigger so I go to image you might not have to do this so I'm gonna go to image canvas size I'm gonna make it a thousand you can make it whatever you want so this is the canvas size the canvas size it's just, it's just gonna make the background bigger not your image all right so 1,000 by 1,000 enter okay um, all right got my image it's a PNG file I'm gonna go to so down here you have layers it's going to be on layers for you, 3D and channels. You're going to click 3D. You're going to go to 3D extrusion. I think that's how you say that word. I'm not even sure. And then hit create. All right. <clears throat> if for some reason, like I was uh, when I f was first trying to do this, I wasn't seeing this red line or this blue line or any of these grid lines, actually, for some reason. So it took me a while. I finally figured it out. You got to go to, um, you got to go to, is it? Okay. Yeah. You got to go to edit preferences, um, <clears throat> technology previews and make sure deactivate native canvas is on. You have to check that hit. Okay. And close out Photoshop and you got to restart. I probably should have started off with that, with this video, but whatever. It's not a big deal. You'll get back to this where we're at in a second. So, <clears throat> all right. Anyways, we're, now we're in 3D. Uh, first thing I like to do when I'm at this screen, I go to infinite light. Right? I click infinite light here. And see the shadow is clicked. See the shadow down here. If you were to do this whole thing with this shadow on, it's going to look like crap. So, first thing I do is uncheck shadow. All right? Um, the next thing I do is I go to layer extrusion material. This, what this is, is the, it's going to be the color that's in between your image. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about when it's at 90 degrees. This is at 90 degrees. So what you do is you go to, it would, it like, it looks the best, obviously, if you make it a color that's on your image. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to click base color. And I'm gonna make it red with my um, what is this color sample tool? I think that or the eyedropper tool. So click somewhere on the image that you want that middle to be. I'm gonna do red. So red. So it's up here, it's the image right now is really thick. We're gonna make it thinner in a second. If you were to leave it like this, it would look like crap. So go back to layer one. Go to extrusion depth and bring it down a little bit. You're going to make the image nice and skinny and clean looking. So I like to make them about that. That's that'll look good. All right. So th this is when it spins 90 degrees, this is what you're going to see. So again, you can make that color anything. You can make it gold or, you know, something on your image and it'll look good for the most part. All right. So now we did just recap real quick. Infinite Make sure shadow is unchecked. Went to extrusion material. I changed the color. Made it red. All right. Go back to layer one. <clears throat> and now this is where we're going to do the animation. Create timeline. All right. This is the tricky part, but I'm going to try to do it slow. All right. So layer one here. Hit the arrow. Drop down. Go down to 3D meshes. Okay, click layer one, and you should see a little yellow diamond right there. All right, so now you drag this blue arrow to one minute. Okay, click layer one again, this little diamond here. This adds keyframes, they're cool. So you have one, two, okay, now drag this to two minutes, add another keyframe. Boom. Okay, drag it to three minutes. Click keyframe again. 
Okay, let you catch up a little bit. And now we're going to do it one more time at four minutes. Four minutes. Click. So in total, you have one, two, three, four, five little diamonds. They're called keyframes. <clears throat> now, you're going to drag this little purple timeline. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I'm not really a Photoshop expert. I'm just, I just do this as a hobby. You're going to drag it down to four minutes right before the red line. Boom. All right. So now you should be at your last one. Go back to your very first keyframe. So right down here, hit previous. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm at my first one. Okay, now come up here to the right. Click this little icon. This is your coordinates icon. Okay, now everything here should be zero. All right. So we're going to leave this first frame alone. Everything remains the same here. Don't even, you don't do anything here. But now you go to your next one at one minute. This is the first thing you're going to change. You're going to change this Y axis. You're going to change it from zero to 90. So nine, zero, enter. Make sure whenever you change a, uh, a coordinate, you hit enter afterwards. If you don't hit enter, your computer is going to try to like, keep up with whatever you're doing and it's going to make your Photoshop crash and you have to start all over and it's such a pain in the ass and for some reason I couldn't figure out why my computer was doing that and this is exactly why whenever you change a, a coordinate here hit enter afterwards I'm gonna like reinstate that every time I do it all right so that was our our second keyframe 90 degrees here okay I'm gonna go to the next keyframe hit right here to bring you to the next one at two minutes okay we went to the next one it's the coordinate doesn't change, so you're going to have to change this to 0, enter, and now X coordinate is going to be negative 180, enter, Z coordinate is going to be negative 180 also, enter, all right? Now you're going to go to your next keyframe, again, it doesn't change, you're going to have to change it yourself, 0, enter, whoops zero enter all right and this one you're gonna make negative 90 enter all right let you catch up I'm going a little fast sorry I get in the zone all right um, and now our last keyframe at four minutes again change this now to zero enter that's your last one you don't do anything after you hit zero all right now we're gonna hit play and it should spin perfectly look at that it's a beaut I'm gonna hit stop here and just show you again I'm gonna start at the very first keyframe X Y and Z all zero second keyframe Y is 90 degrees third keyframe X is negative 180 and Z is negative 180. Fourth keyframe, Y is negative 90. And fifth keyframe is all zero. X, Y, and Z is zero degrees. All right, play it. Spins just as it should. Again, when it's at 90 degrees here, and if you go back to extrusion material, you can change that color if you want or um, go to layer one and the extrusion depth you can make it you know thicker thinner it always looks better thinner but whatever you want there right so once you're done here file export save for web right now this says PNG this is because I was doing something earlier you got to change this to GIF And then save. I'm not going to save it because I have it already. But And that's it. Um, again, this is my first video I've ever done like this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll get back to it pretty quickly. And hopefully it was clear. I, I have a little slur because I have braces on the inside of my teeth. So don't mind me uh, slurring and stuttering. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.